and the lights turn off at 5.20. He fires two lasers that melt the vault's steel walls and turn them off at 5 hours 37 minutes and 21 seconds. Why was the timing so precise? Because it was the only way to ensure that the lasers would completely melt the steel plates without triggering the alarm network outside the plates. Deb immediately entered the sewers through the manhole cover near the bank and followed the pipe all the way down to the bank. Using a special three-pronged drill, he drilled a circle through the outer wall of the vault and pulled out the concrete, thus opening up the outer and inner walls. All that was left was a layer of wire mesh in the middle that would sound an alarm if touched, but Dupolisk doesn't panic. He takes a steel pipe and steadies it through the small hole in the middle of the mesh. He then puts a few drops of sulfuric acid on the lock of the vault, which quickly corrodes. Then he opens the drain behind him and water gushes out. He took the opportunity to change into his diving gear and waited for the water to reach the wire fence and the alarm immediately went off. When the security guard heard the noise he checked the CCTV and saw that the vault was full of water and thought it was a burst pipe so he turned off the alarm. Then, without delay, he reported it to the manager and called the fire brigade in order to delay the manager's arrival. 